this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the UFC. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready, his mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's gonna get this done, it's gonna take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. So with much fanfare, here is John Jones back in defense of his UFC Heavyweight Championship. Remarkable the manner in which he came back from a three-year layoff. Figures to present an even better version here tonight. Well, so many people questioned or wondered when John Jones would come to heavyweight. When he did, he looked better than he ever has inside the UFC's octagon. Winning the Heavyweight Championship and reasserting himself as the dominant force in mixed martial arts. John Jones once again steps into the octagon looking to build on his legacy. And we don't know how long for this game John Jones is, so enjoy him while he is here. We'll see how it goes tonight in this UFC Heavyweight Championship title defense. John Jones is ready to go, and that means so are we for our main event. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander King Romanov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world. John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, ready, all ready? referee for this one. Ready? Do it. All right, so we get another look at John Bones Jones here tonight. He immediately takes the center of the octagon. We'll see if he goes to the striking heel early. We know he can also grapple with the best of them, but an obvious reach advantage yet again for John Bones Jones tonight. 84 and a half inches in reach, something that is very difficult for opponents to count. Oh, the basketball. How good was the timing on that ankle pick? And he comes through with a big hit. Unable to connect with the right hand there. And blocks that hard punch. Romanov lands the takedown early round one, one, DC. Beautiful takedown lands early. Let's see if that becomes the way this fight plays out. All right, so there's the early takedown for the decorated grappler. Exactly what he wanted to do tonight. Exactly what he needed to do if he's going to want to win this fight. You've got to put this guy on his back early, and you've got to put him on his back off. Jones getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet.
Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Are right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Jones is in half court. Now he's going full mount. He's got to start throwing now. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? Oh, nice right hand. Yeah. Yeah. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why it's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Two minutes. Romanov's right back to the full mount. Oh, looking for the submission. Looks pretty tight, DC. It's getting tight right now, John. All he's got to do now is get his hips to the back of the elbow to get the finish. Oh, he's going belly down now. He goes belly down, J.A. Oh, he got up. He actually defended. No, he's not in a great position now, but he's better off than he was before. Nice shot lands from the bottom. Yep, gotta be careful there. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensive. Herb Dean steps in! Holy smokes! What a fight! So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the afternoon. <laughs> Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. All right, now we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander King Khan Romanov. Well, DC, you know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream that he has had for a long time. And now it is realized. Congratulations to the champ and his entire team. And best of luck trying to defend it, oh, by the yeah, way. Oh, yeah, man. This is volatile. Look, they got a whole bunch of hungry wolves lining up to take that belt.